Hey friends, it's me Stace. Today we're making a card for BB Craft and we are making a really fun waterfall dog cart. So there's the front of the card. Then we have the inside as well. Then we on the outside we have all the doggies that are in a waterfall. Really fun little card. Alright, so the first thing you will need is a piece of cardstock. This is eight and a half by five and a half. You want to score that in the center at four and a quarter. Then take your bone folder and go ahead and give that a good crease so it lays flat for you. Same color of cardstock. This piece is one by four. Then you have an accent color. I chose brown. You will need one piece that is two by nine, and you'll want to score this at two, two and three quarter, three and a half, and four and a quarter. Then you'll need four pieces of the same color, and all four of these measure two by two. Then we have our white. You need two pieces of white. They both measure four by five and a quarter. Four squares of white, these are all measured at 1 and 7 8 by 1 and 7 8, and then this strip is 1 and 7 8 by 4 and a quarter. So the first thing we're going to do is create our background paper. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in one of my pieces of cardstock, my white, and we're using this stamp set here called Lucky Dog, such a fun stamp set. Alright, so I'm going to bring in my brown ink, also the Cajun Craze ink as well. And we're going to create our own background paper, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the fire hydrant. I'm going to bring in a scrap of paper. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp the, fi the fire extinguisher, or the fire hydrant rather, all over the white piece. I want to make sure you're going different directions and also come off the white as well. One more right there. All right, now I'm gonna take my brown ink and grab the collar and go ahead and stamp that as well. This is a great card to give to somebody who just got a new puppy or an older dog or somebody who already has a dog. All right, so I think we're, I'm gonna do one more right here in the middle. Okay, so the front of our card is now done. We're gonna go ahead and grab the other piece of white, four by five and a quarter for the inside. This one, I'm gonna grab the paw prints in that same brown ink. Stamp this on the lower right-hand side. That way that is done. All right, so we have the front of the card and the inside of the card done. Now we're gonna go ahead and grab our white pieces. And again, these all measure one and seven eighth by one and seven eighth. If you don't like working in the eighths, you can certainly cut these to be one and three quarter. You'll just have a larger mat. All right, let's go ahead and grab our dogs. So I'm gonna grab this one here and stamp it on one of the white pieces. And it's nice because there are four dogs in this stamp set. And how cute are they? If you want to, you can cover them in. I'm just leaving them the way they are. That one's holding a little bone in its mouth. Then we have this one that's walking. Then we have the other one who is laying down. All right, so on the two that are sitting, to bring in more of that red color, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this little toy. I'm gonna do that in the Cajun Craze color. This is like one of those rope toys that have like a knot on the end of it. I'm gonna stamp that one on this one, and then the other one on this one over here and turn it so it's going a different direction. All right, so we're done with all the stamps. Now it's time to assemble the card. All right, so we have our card base. Then we have the piece we made for the front. We're gonna take the red strip. I'm actually gonna use a double-sided tape. You wanna use a strong glue here. If you want to use art glitter glue, I've used that before, and I think that works fine. I've also seen this card. I've made this style card many different times. It's one of my all-time favorite cards to make. It has that wow factor, but I've also made it with brads. All right, so I'm going to bring in my ruler just so I can, you know, make sure this is going to go up straight. I'm going to go about a half inch from the bottom. 
Let's take the backing off of the tape there. Let me hold that down and then put that on there. And I did cut this just a smidgen wider than four inches. This way I'm, I'm able to, I, I made sure I went edge to edge and I'll just cut off the extra piece here and on this side as well. Okay, we can now do that to the front of the card. I'm using my advanced tape guider. So we bring our card in, just like that. Now while we're here, let's go ahead and add the inside piece as well. That way that's done. Okay, there we go. Super cute. I mean, it's cute just like that. I mean, you can just add a doggy here if you want to. All right, now we're going to go ahead and adhere all these white pieces to the brown pieces. And you want to try to have your glue go edge to edge on these pieces. So by cutting the white 1 and 7 8 by 1 and 7 8, you can see we only have a really small piece of the brown showing through. But again, if you want it comes to be 1 and 3 quarter, you can certainly do that. easy card to make. It just a lot of pieces, but I, I yeah, it's one of those cards that have that wow factor that when you give it to somebody and you say you made it, they'll be like, wow, you really made that? It's one of those kind of cards. All right, and then our last one here. And then we're going to adhere all these to the waterfall mechanism, which is that two by nine piece. All right, so it's going to fold on all the swirl marks. You don't really need to crease them with the bone folder. Just give them a good rub. You do want to make sure it's going straight, though. All right, so we have this long piece, and then we have this piece here. This is what creates the waterfall. So on this piece, you want to put a doggy image. And on this one, I'm going to go opposite of this one, but so I'm going to put the one laying down on there first. So whatever image you want to be on top of the card, you want to put that image on last. I'm just going to put this on there. It should line up edge to edge because it's the same size. And then we're going to put adhesive on this little strip here. And again, you want to go edge to edge. And take our next one. And we're going to line it up with that square mark. Make sure it's going straight down as well. More glue on this one. I'm going right between the two score marks there. This one I'm lining up with the score mark and then making sure it's straight going down the cart. And then I want this dog on top so he'll go on there last. Actually, we're not done our stamping yet either. I forgot about the, the uh, pulley piece. All right, so we have that. That's, that creates a waterfall. So now we have this other white piece, the one and seven eighths by four and a quarter. I'm going to stamp our greeting. So I'm going to go back in with that Cajun Craze ink and grab my greeting that says, Life is better with a dog, and I happen to agree. It's even better when you have two dogs, like I do. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp that kind of in the middle, toward the top a little bit. Then grab that paw print again, just to pull in more of that brown. I'm going to stamp this on the lower right hand side, and also on the upper left hand side. I'm going to go here. Okay, just so it adds a little bit of something there. You can always sign your name there, or to so and so, from so and so. Alright, so we are done with all that. So we're going to take this piece, so you have this piece like this, flip it over. So now we have this piece, that's where that's going to go. And you 
want to have this go more toward the top because we're going to punch a hole at the bottom. I mean, you can have it go the whole way if you want to. You can have this be four, um, four and a quarter if you want to, or four and a half. So it fits in there, but I like having some of the brown show at the bottom. All right, so to punch a hole in it, I'm going to use my big bite. And you want to have the hole on the brown piece in the center the best you can. All right, so now let's go ahead and assemble this piece. So we're going to bring this through. You want to have the larger piece going first. Then you want to line it up in the middle. Have your this piece in the center. Bring this piece down. So this bottom piece, this piece, you want to have the bottom of that line up with the bottom of this band. Okay, so just kind of get it where you want it. Have it be centered. Let's have that crooked there. All right, so I have it going so that this piece here, the bottom of our waterfall, is lined up with the bottom of that white piece or the band, my band piece. Okay, so I'm going to hold that down, put my adhesive right here. And I think I'm going to tab that crooked on this brown piece. Okay, so then bring this piece back down. Again, making sure it lines up at the bottom of that band piece there. Okay, so it looks like that. So now when you pull this out, you can see how that creates the waterfall. Super cute. Now to have a little pulley, we're going to add some twine there. So I just have some jute twine. I'm going to take it and fold it in half, put the, uh, create the loop, put the loop into the bottom of this piece here. Open up the loop and put the two strings through that and then pull. And then just to double knot it, I want to go ahead and knot it this way. So that way I know it's not going to come undone. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and clip off the extra there. So how cute is that card, right? So they can pull it here so they can see all the puppies, how fun is that, right? And then we have the inside as well. So you have that card, we have this card here, so you can see by putting different, or I actually did the same dog on that one, I meant to go the other way, but whatever image you want to have on top, you want to do that one last. All right, so we have the card there, and of course I have a card kit for you, and I include all the pieces you need, as well as an envelope, so you'll get this card with the envelope, so you can mail this card and make this card. So to uh, be entered in the card kit, leave me a comment with any kind of doggy emoji, and I'll pick a winner this coming Sunday. All right, there you have my friends, a really fun, easy card using the BB Craft stamp set called Lucky Dog. Again, if you are a dog person, this is a phenomenal stamp set. There are so many images. We have um, a dog house I did not use. We have little brushes, a dog bone, dog shampoo, food, a little greeting here that says you are a lucky dog. The word love that has the O is the paw print. Such a fun stamp set. Also a little tennis ball as well. All right, so any questions, my friends? I will have the direct link to this stamp set below as well as the BB Craft website. Any questions, my friends, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.